tea. Peach tea. Um, did you make it yourself? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah, it's got some aloe in there. It's got... What? Yeah. I don't know what that means. It's mango aloe. Mango aloe? Yep. And peach tea. And peach tea. Yeah. All right. Okay. And Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. And now we've got an advert of a... Huh? I don't know. Oh, no way it's that easy to paint a house. No, no. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to get on its roof today and paint it. Oh, no. Uh, well, if, wish, if, imagine if it was that easy. Mm, let's put a pole up. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, for, for... I um, don't know. What is puppets it? and Muppets. Oh, yeah. The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show. Yeah. yeah. Do you like or love the Muppet Show? Okay, yeah. So, where, where's your channel, dude? Because we should put your channel in here. Yep, since, yep. Since that would be helpful. Yep, yep. So, mm, <laughs> unfortunately, oh. I had to put a... I lost two subscribers. Yeah, I noticed this. Yeah. Um, cars... Cars scared problem. people off. Yeah, scared, scared people, people off. off. Yep. And of course, the problem is you probably once all the cars go up, you're probably not going to see many cars. No after more cars that. after that. <laughs> yeah, no more cars. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, fairy princess. Princess fairy. Sorry, it's not fairy princess. Prin princess, princess fairy. Princess fairy. Um, princess fairy. A flying princess. Yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let me let me get myself organised. So we unplug me, B. Okay. Unplug me. All right. Get it out. Boom. All right. Cool. All right. The plugs are out. I can't hear anything. Sweet. Now we'll move over. We'll get you to do the transition. It's really hot here today, so we've left That's all the doors open. Yeah. Since the house is kind of empty. And woohoo, which we mean we might actually not um, perish. Yeah. David has a. Oh, well, I'll let David um, tell you the story. All right, well, go for it, dude. Let this us is a story? I don't know. Um, okay, the story is. Welcome to How to RPG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm David Bailey, your host today, and I will be painting stuff, which is a manticore. And uh, Fred will be talking about stuff. Which, who knows what he'll be talking about. It's just mainly to distract me. So let's, <laughs> let's find out what Mr. Fee can get up to today. And um, take it away, Fred and Dave. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm moving position. All right. Okay. All right. So I need to get, I need to get you the book. I need to get the you book, the book. book. Did you get a book yesterday? Did you get a book? No, no. They have nothing. They have nothing. That's that's something I should definitely talk about. Did you go to have you some had a look at Nova Games yet? I have never I never I've never heard of Nova they're Games. They're new and they're in Albany as well. Oh well God, I wish I'd known that because okay, so well I'm gonna talk about my, my trip to And they the, sell all that stuff. <sighs> Sherry yeah. So I, I I wanted I will talk about my trip to the game store, okay? Mm. Because I went to the game store yesterday. And so I, I feel like maybe I should actually talk about what wound up happening when I went to the game store. Um did you want to show some of your stuff before you get started today? Is that what you wanted to do? There's only two people here. I think I'll wait till... You wait till there's a few more people? Wait till there's a few more oh, people. Oh, you wait more. Wait till there's a few more people. I can sort of just plop them. I can plop them out, plop them in, plop, plop them back them, out. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Plop them, plop them here. But let's, let's get painting. Okay. Well, you've, got a, you've got a story to tell. I've got stuff to paint. Let's, yes, you do. All right, I'll let you get business. Um, do some... Get business? Do business. Yeah, do Something. business. Business is open. Hi, today. Dan. How's it going? So, Dan is a patron, also a moderator, and uh, yeah, welcome. And a Viking. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the idea had originally been that I would have up a meme of the Muppet Show, okay? And and it would be related to Slap Chop today. Um, David hates Slap Chop, for those who don't know what their painting um, uh, style is, but it's extremely good. Yeah. So I was trying to figure out... So I wound, it's Fred's favourite style. <laughs> yeah. So the, the thumbnail winds up being an image of Miss Piggy the puppet and Kermit the Frog... Fro Kermit the Frog? Kermit, Kermit the, the Frog. Kermit the Frog, the puppet. And Kermit is dressed as Miss Piggy. And Miss Piggy is dressed <laughs> as Kermit. And they're taking a selfie. If you hadn't figured out by the, the, the lettering that I stuck in the thumbnail, that's what was going on. Then I decided, well, hang on. I've done all this, but it's supposed to relate to a manticore miniature and painting. How the heck? So I just jammed, I just rammed that, uh, that uh, manticore miniature into the corner there. And it's sort of it's over it's looking over their shoulder kind of basically. Um, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So Sorry, the, I got confused. I've just seen a whole bunch of memes. So you know. So it it, it 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 didn't it didn't work out quite the way. And the thumbnail is very very busy. I mean, if anybody even remotely clicks it on, I would be surprised because I would be confused if I saw that thumbnail. These eyes need to be more yellow. So, so Dan had to Google Slap Chop today and yesterday. Um, now I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a slap chop is is not a martial arts style. Um, it is not a Muppet martial arts style. 
It, it is, is a painting martial arts yes, style. It, it, it is a painting martial arts style. Yeah, yeah. yeah very much so. Yeah. Uh, and it, uh, it is supposed to be very effective. It turns the basic white belt into Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it's like taking a pair of glasses that apparently is programmed with the most uh, most skilled fighters and, and makes you a skilled fighter yeah, as well. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to be a pro painter in 10 minutes. <laughs> Dan, I like, I'm glad you like the thumbnail because me and Dave were like, well, you need to rebuild the thumbnail right now. Just like, we've only got nine minutes, but we can do it. And I'm like, no, no, we don't have to. <laughs> it's no, not going to work. No. No, we're going to just. One minute is not really enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only had one more minute left and it's like, there's no way I'm going to get it all done. Yeah. So we left it. So I was actually supposed to have a meme um, when this thing started of the Muppet Show um, audience. And oh, yeah. um, I was going to make a, a joke around, you know, um, your audience being, uh, you know, when, you're, when you, your audience looks like a Muppet, they are Muppets. Um, but the problem is, the image that I found that was actually in three, uh, 4K disappeared. It's like it was on my computer, and then it was gone. I don't know where it went. Uh, I have no idea. And I saw it there, and I was like, ah, I can use that. Magic. Magic. Bad it, magic. Bad magic. Dan, darn, it's gone. It's yeah. yeah. So, sorry about that, people. Um, the idea was to to lead in with the Muppet Show. Um, oh, we will come back to the Muppet Show. Give people a bit of time. Uh, if you don't know what the Muppet Show is, I'm happy to tell you. But you could just it's let me know. Almost in the title. It is more it's almost a show with Muppets in it. Yeah, <laughs> and there's 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 definitely a frog, and I've there's definitely a pig, pig, and there's a very a variety of other things. I don't know what Gonzo is supposed to be. I don't think anyone knows. I, I, yeah, I don't think. I think he, he was, spends most of his time in space, doesn't he? I th I think actually he's an alien. Yeah. An alien vulture. Yeah. Actually, I think he's a. Um, I don't know. I almost think he's a mosquito. You think he's a mosquito? Yeah. What? Because he likes to fly. Because he's got that curly nose. The curly nose. I yeah. think the curly nose is, is to represent um, a vulture. But I suppose I suppose you could say he's a. Well, he doesn't have wings, does he? He just he likes to fly. All the time. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so back to the game store visit. So it's going to be story time. Story time. Story time of <clears throat> so I decide I'm going to go to the, the game store. I try to go to the game store every time I go on holiday and just see what they've got. So I went to Vagabonds in Takapuna. There's also a Vagabonds in the city, but I don't like going to the city because, frankly, the city is awful. It's expensive for parking. It's if there a is parking. Yeah, it's a giant hassle in terms of navigating that um, that monster. I can't stand it. Mm. And so um, the end result for me was I wound up going to Takapuna. The plan had also been to go and see my um, my auntie, but uh, part COVID. COVID struck, so I decided not a good idea to go and visit. So, yeah, so that was that was our shame. <clears throat> so, Dan, you grew up with the Muppet Show every Friday or something. Uh, yeah, I loved it as a kid too. Oh. I, 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 and <laughs> it's hard not to still be sort of uh, partly attached to the, the Muppet Show. It's, mm. yeah, it's just not the same without um, the original uh, creator. Um, now that he's gone, mm -hmm. I mean, I know his son is still around, but it's just not the same. No. Yeah. Anyway. Game store, go in there. I'd already rung to see if there was stuff that I might be able to get. It didn't sound too promising. And I go in there and all they have is 40k box uh, Warhammer. There's Warhammer box and miniatures. They've got, of course, Dungeons and Donuts miniatures and box. And there's one alien RPG book in there. And this is when I suddenly realized just how problematic it was. Like, essentially, this game store, the only RPGs, role-playing games that they had in stock was Dungeons & Donuts 5e. Uh, there wasn't any um, Pathfinder. Not, not first yet edition, not second yet edition, none of that. And there was this new, just-been-released Alien RPG. There was one book. That's it. Nothing else. And I was like, oh my gosh, the, the market is so dominated that nothing else can survive in this game store. And um, and I remember having a discussion with the store owner and like, nah, sorry, dude, it's like, none of that ever moves. Nobody buys it, so we just don't stock it. And I'm like, great, awesome, fantastic, love to hear that. So Princess Fairy, you, you like, I like it has a, a kid. You liked it as a kid. Yeah, 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 I, I mean, you know. <clears throat> so I had a problem. 
I asked if they had fate dice, which is actually quite hard to get fate dice. They have like plus minuses on them and blank blank sides, and I couldn't get fate dice. Uh, I'm not surprised because it's always been a problem every time I've tried to get fate dice. You have to sp special order, they're expensive, it's kind of ridiculous. And since I know how to play fate, I was hoping that I'd be able to demonstrate some fate uh, to people. So I was disappointed. And then I'm looking around, I'm like, what do I do? And I was looking at the board game se section. And as you know, um, I've been going through... Um, uh, inwardly, but not particularly silent. Um, uh, is, it a, is it a? Is it? Is it? I would. Is it a crisis? Crisis of hobby. Mm. Crisis crop. Um, yeah. Crisis of hobby. Crisis of hobby. And I was looking at some of the stuff, and I was like, I was like, I wish there was fighting fantasy books here. Couldn't find a thing. Couldn't find a thing. Which is not surprising because they've been out of print for a while. Okay. And then I bumped into. An old game, because me and David and my, my siblings, we grew up on a couple of board games. Space Marine and one other. Hero Quest. Hero Quest. I'm coming back to Hero Quest. Hero, How's Quest, it... Hero Quest came first. Yeah, yeah, it did. And we played it till it just died. died. It, it, we played it till there was nothing left. You know, our cousin, uh, Nikki, yeah. has purchased that game. Oh, so Nikki purchased HeroQuest, what, the new printing? No, no, I don't know if it's the new printing, but she's got HeroQuest. Ah. Oh, she okay. has it, yep. Oh, okay, cool. Not Space Marine, but she has HeroQuest. Okay. She's more into fantasy stuff. But, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good to hear. So, art teacher online, hello. Uh, say something, Dave. Uh, I thought you liked mm -hmm. Warhammer. He, he's try, He's concentrating on the painting, so I'm doing a lot of oh, talking. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 like, um, I like Warhammer. I can't afford Warhammer, though. So, um, you know, so who was asking me about that? Someone was asking me about that. Um, yeah, I can't afford... <laughs> I can't afford it. I, I um... Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I might be able to afford it um, when I'm in England a little mm -hmm. bit better, but um, here it's just like, it's just kind of like a bad joke. Yeah. So, for me, I've been thinking, when I was walking through the store, I was thinking, well, I'm going to go kind of back to the beginning. You know, uh, whatever's happening now, to, not completely, but I'm, I kind of need to go back to the beginning. You know, when I f sort of fell in love with the whole thing, because I'm, you know, whether I realize, realize it or whether I, I express it properly, I'm still very frustrated. And so I couldn't get Fighting Fantasy and I saw HeroQuest, the board game, <gasps> the new printing of it in the store. And it was horrifically expensive. Mm. Yeah, of course it was. Because it was in New Zealand, okay. Mm. Um, and to give you an idea of how much it was, I'll just tell you. $280 New Zealand. What? Yes. How much did you originally pay for that game? It must have been not much. I, when we bought it, I bought that thing from the warehouse when the warehouse was open. No way. For $30. When you so that's a long time ago, but even back then that was actually pretty cheap. That was like going and buying a, a, um, a slightly expensive uh, Monopoly. You know what that game. is? That's like that's like having um, a classic car and charging more for it because it's a classic car. That's right. Yeah, the box is huge, but it's full of filler. You know those 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 inserts. Yes, Dave, look up the top. Oh my God! You bought it. <laughs> so I'm. I, no freaking way. So see. So, yeah. <laughs> now I know it's I know it's made by Hasbro people, okay. I'm Holy aware. Holy moly! But pr Hasbro makes pretty much every board game under the sun. Let's get it's real. Such a good game though. Okay, that game is good. I'm I'm not. So I'm going back to the beginning a little bit, people. That's 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 how old were you? You were 20, 20, 21? N No, I was younger. I was a teenager when I bought that thing. So you would have been like eighteen. No, no, I was probably um, 13, 14. Really? 13, 14, maybe 15 when oh. I bought that. And you guys were quite a lot younger. I think you were five. I think you were five. And then um, I can't remember. It was, it, was, it was a couple of years before I went, went to university. So I, 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 would have, I would have been probably... Well, you would have been a... Um, um, I'd probably six, be a, maybe 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. Maybe 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah, and, and for, for what yeah. I can say is two, three years, we just played it till it, 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 it disintegrated. Yeah. Um, and I always wound up being the, um, the, 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 the Zorgog or Zor, the Zed guy, the guy who was behind the screen running the monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm kind of going back to the beginning. So I had this thought because 
Since YouTube collects all of your data when you are watching my channel or anybody else's channel and then sends that data to me, I've noticed that a lot of you are looking for HeroQuest in your searches. In fact, it's quite high up in the searches on my channel, HeroQuest, because I keep talking about HeroQuest. Hmm. So guess what? I oh, bought... You have a giant, big, very expensive box of a classic car game mm -hmm. up on your shelf there. Yeah. Now, I've um, noticed that... this box is probably three times the size of the original box, because that's yeah. massive. It is. It is probably three times the yeah. size, and it's probably only got a... It can be, you know, maybe a third full of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I haven't <laughs> Just even, like when you buy cornflakes. I haven't <laughs> even opened the HeroQuest box. Okay, mm. now HeroQuest is, is not really a role-playing game. It's a board game. Mm. It's basically about exploring, <clears throat> avoiding traps, finding secret um, doors and passageways and so forth, um, fighting monsters. It's a bit like Diablo. It is pretty... But, but, but the board game version of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's pre-Diablo anyway. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and then, and then, of course, it's... It's mostly, you know, finding treasure, you know, collecting treasure. Yeah. Um, you can level up, but the level up system is pretty basic. I don't think it's particularly ex extensive or anything well, like so, that. So um, the character choices are, are basic. Yeah, I mean, which is fine. You know, you, you get a very limited sort of narrow perspective of what you can do. But, that, you know, but now that I have the box, um, but I'm thinking that maybe um, HeroQuest will find its way onto my Friday feature um, uh, but, in the future, but what? This can it be modified? Well, of course it can be modified, but that's not really the point because I'm going to do that anyway. Remember, I'm going to make an RPG, and so um, uh, modification can happen at that point. Man. So um, yeah, for those of you who were like, hmm, have been looking for Hero Quest, and you're probably not here. Uh, I bought the bomb, the box. Uh, so what? What's this summer? So art teacher is my mum. So I had a quick peek at the uh, the war warehouse and Hasbro has a couple of board games for thirty dollars and one D and D for fifty, but nothing much else. Um, bar Monopoly, yeah. Which I I don't really want to. I don't really want to go and buy Hasbro stuff. Frankly, the only reason I've bought the Hero Quest box is I need to go back to the beginning a bit for me. So. Um, I am, so what's the stand? I am, I've got the Hero, Hero Quest box because I want to, I want to just show off what's in it, but I want to kind of talk about some of the things I loved about the game and some of the things I frustrated, got frustrated about the game. I'm, I'm happy to show people how to play it, but it's a very simple game. It's not a complicated game. You could play this with your kids, easy peasy, if you've got, um, if you've got kids and your parents. And that's why Nikki has it, I think, because she, um, she plays all of her board games with her kids. Right, so, yeah. So um, the whole family can get around the table and play it. And, and that's what we used to do. Is we used to get around uh, It was the together. family game. It was the family game, was Hero Quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it became Space Crusade eventually, but um, yeah. it came later, actually. It game. did come later. But, but and, the, and the reality is, why it was the family game is it wasn't like Monopoly, where you had to crush one of everybody else at the table. Ah, it was a cooperative. It was cooperative. It was a cooperative game. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. only one person felt like they were maybe slightly left out, and that was the person that was usually me. You know, I was, I was running the, the monsters. Uh, so Dan's got here... 1,799 Norwegian krona in my local shop. Jeez, just looked it up. Yeah, it's really expensive. Horrifically expensive. Even in the New Zealand box. But doesn't that really just speak to what Hasbro's been doing lately? It does. They're cash grabbing on every single thing. That, I don't know, it's like they think the world's going to end or something. They're just trying to get as much money as they can in the last couple of years or something i don't know well i don't i don't it sounds think, mad i don't think it's just hasbro that's doing this sort of thing you know it's, no they're yeah. one of one of many one of many um, um, um yeah. executive corporate organizations that are mm. pulling as hard as they can mm. <laughs> so mm. hi michael how's it going michael's also a patron and supports me on patreon um so good good afternoon uh it's actually still morning for us good but, afternoon. but a good, good afternoon if, uh, yeah 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 <laughs> that's the one uh, my family um, growing up, and the, then my uh, my own personal uh, intimate family, we have never finished the game of Monopoly. Yeah, it always ends in a war. 
It's just always ends and arguments of people walking away. The game of life, if anybody has ever played the game of life, the same thing used to happen with that. That's why we played Hero Quest, because the vast majority of us were actually having to join together to be cooperative. Although Rosie didn't see it that way. I don't know what she was doing, but you know. She's never changed. No, no. Every time she, it doesn't, even with Dungeons and Dragons later on in life. She was a treasure hoarder. She was a treasure hoarder. She well, was magical, it turned from treasure into magical items, but it's the same uh, idea. Yeah, yeah. She hoarded, yeah. You're going to go to a charity shop and look for an old one. Good luck, mate, because it, it might be it'll be hugely expensive or in, almost impossible to find. I'd imagine mm. <clears throat> that board game's that's um, a that's a tough one to find. That's why they reprinted it actually, mm. is because they knew that the there was a huge market for it and they were right. <laughs> well, it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, there is. <clears throat> so the game of life was always a problem. I was found too. Um, and then, of course, anything like chess, and when you play chess, it's like, you know, one person's got to win, one person's got to lose, and, uh, you know, it's like take out the other person. And it's not really like a, a family game, you know? So there's, it, you can't really play Scrabble, because there's always a winner and a loser in Scrabble too, and that was another thing that, you know, we would try to play together. Um, even, even recently, we were playing Trivial Pursuit, and we had teams, and there's always, oh, and, and it was Rosie especially got it was, very competitive. And it, Sam, it was, it was, it was, it's, it's poor. It's a bit, it's a bit much. Too competitive. It's too competitive. So hence, Hero Quest has returned to my, to my house. And oh, uh, I think the other thing about Hero Quest is like you know, um, you know, um, when you're playing Dungeons and Donuts or whatever, you got, you know, it takes time to set everything up and your characters and your blah, blah, blah. Hero Quest. You can just jump the game down and go for it. Yeah, it's a board game, so it's um. Yeah, there's there is no customer creation. There no, is there is everything no... is very simple. I think it was what you were talking about. We're creating a system which orish, orish, initially has pretty much almost no rules. Yeah. Um, makes it very simple to fire it up. Yeah, but it, it also doesn't do everything that I ever wanted. So I'm going to talk. Mm. I'm going to mm. talk about Hero Quest. You're going to see me pulling out Hero Quest, and since I've got uh, this, this fancy setup in this office. Um, I, I will. Uh, I'll do some demonstrations as well. I, I feel like that's that's very likely to happen. Sounds <clears throat> like fun. Uh, I do hope so. Mm. Yeah, that's my hope. That it will be fun. Mm. Might even be a bit nostalgic. <clears throat> it could. It could well be. Mm. Yeah. So that's what happened. So and so, but it did. It it hammered home to me that um, Dungeons and Donuts has got such a huge monopoly that game stores won't stock anything but that because it's only, the only thing that they are absolutely sure they can get off the shelf. They just won't stock anything else because you know, hardly you anybody's know what buying I don't get. Box. You honestly know what I don't get? It's right. like, that sounds like it's also very specific to this country. Because well, a lot of people I know that are just painters and stuff, the amount of board games that those guys play as families and stuff, and they're really all fantasy based hmm. in other countries. Yeah. They have heaps of stuff. So many different types of games. But I, and I think, and I look at all these games and I'm like, I have never even heard of any of those games. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what, you know, I don't know what you guys are playing, but um, it looks cool, but. Mm. Yeah, we stopped playing a lot of those sort of board games, didn't we? Um, as time well, goes Space by, Space Crusade was the last. Yeah, it was the end of it. Yeah, Space Crusade was the the last of it mm. uh, on a regular basis, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It became when you moved to um, Auckland, um, you got into Warhammer, and then and then that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Dan, I will explain Hero Quest for sure, and uh, yeah, I'm going to also suggest some things you could do very easily to actually improve the game. Uh, the board game, if you wanted to, because again, um, it's it's out there. It also uh, it's, it just looks to me as a very highly modifiable game. And, and but the other thing too is you, you you could literally build your own hero quest from scratch from from the <laughs> miniatures you already have. Yep. Uh, from any kind of terrain you want to make, if you wanted to have terrain from just the cardboard craft. Um, and, free and, market and like a uh, like a uh, printable um board yeah like it like cause it's just it's not it's just a well, well you can just use you can you can just use whatever maps you've even. got you can draw out your map yep. with on a on a chessex battle map or a piezo or a, a just a writable a map you could you could you could just do all of that and uh yeah and then resolution with a six-sided dice yeah. so i've got i'm going to suggest some ideas around that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, michael's got here our family does like uno card game um just fun and easy um, a great way to pass time. Yeah, and I've heard. I've, I've actually I've played Uno, um, but Uno is, if I remember, Uno is still it's still got a kind of a competitive aspect to it. Ah, uh, oh, the so, so art. So art teacher, what, what do you got here, Mum? Hasbro New Zealand has Hero Quest, 
quest pack return of the witch um witch lord for eighty four dollars. Not gonna buy it. Not Whoa. gonna buy it. No. That's just an expansion pack. That's just an expansion pack. I can if you wanted to expand it, and this is what I did is you, that's the thing though, isn't it? You can do like you can buy you can get three D printed miniatures for um, ten dollars. Yep. You, and you can expand your own expansion pack. You can you can make up your own stuff. For yeah. for 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 NAF all. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. And because like I'm um, um yeah, I just got some stuff from, I was at the Printable Dragon I was talking about um these models are amazing and they're like ten dollars, you know. It's yeah. like you can get some cool stuff, um, and create you know, and there's vast monsters out there from third party stuff, it's just vast monsters. Yeah. So you can create who really knows what the limit is? It's yeah. not a bit it's almost limitless. It's yeah. um So actually Dan, yeah. good you idea. you make a good um, point. So can you play Hero Quest with two people? And actually you can. It's for two to five um, players. Mm, yeah. And one of the players is the person who runs the monsters and the other person runs the uh, the hero um, or the adventurer, uh, whichever one they want. So, so yeah, you, you absolutely could do that. Um, of course, it's always harder if you're playing on your own, but I know that I ran games for Rosie and she just wanted to play on her own and everybody else had decided to go and do something else. But she was like, no, I want to go off on my own. She There was a, there was a lot of, um, can I just say, she didn't fight the monsters. She would just sneak in there if she could or run past them, grab the treasure, and then run away again. Because <laughs> she was playing um, a roguelike oh, character. A rogue-like character. Yeah, 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 that's that's the one. A very basic version of a very, a very A very basic idea, yeah. Um, Princess Fairy's got here... Um, I have played Munchkin. Yes, I've played Munchkin, the card game. It is fun. It, it kind of it, it co it does have a co sort of aspect to it, but but yes and no, not really. Um, are you uploading older videos on your YouTube channel? I see videos from three years ago, videos about Dungeons and Donuts. Uh, Michael, I have been. So Michael, I had before I went on holiday, I had. 356 old live streams that I had hidden uh, because I was told that was the best way to go. So yes, I have been. I've been releasing about two every day. They're, they're not actually, I mean, they're not edited videos. They're, they're my live streams because I've been told that live streams kill a channel. And I looked at the, the numbers on and like how many people actually watch that live stream. And I think about how many people watch my live streams now. And probably in the, in the first day or two, people are watching... I'm getting more people watching those old live streams that aren't that aren't in 4K, that don't have particularly good sound compared to what I can do now. Uh, and it was such a stupid thing to do. I, I wish I had ignored people. I really wish I had ignored the experts and what everybody else was telling me because, frankly, I think they were wrong. I think the, the, the secret is you have to have a combination of edited and live stream. And if you can edit stuff from your live streams, it's all good. So yes, I have been releasing stuff going back as far as two years ago. I'm now got kind of working my way through the three years back. Um, and because I've been around for more than six years, uh, you'll probably find that it'll be a lot of stuff that starts to drop in sound quality, even video quality, uh, because they were live streams. And this is back when I was just trying to get used to the whole idea. Nobody used to do live streams when I was doing live stream. The, 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 I guess the, the going thought was it was um, too new and a waste of your time. So everybody stuck to doing edited videos. But I, I think I spent a couple of years just making lots of mistakes and just working my way through it, trying to figure out what works. And what I discovered is if you're going to paint miniatures, nobody cares to see your head. Because all they see is the, the, the top end, the top of your head, as you have to look down to actually do the painting. Nobody actually wants to see you with using the brush. They just want to see the miniature being painted, which is what David's doing. This is why I never include the head cam when I do these um, these painting things, because that's actually not the not the important aspect. The important aspect is, cause since you're not really going to see my face or me and my head properly, you all you're going to see is my balding head or my hat, essentially. So that's, that's one of the things I learned. Um, Dan, I DM my, uh, my, my, my wife solo uh, for Dungeons & Donuts, but she she does ask for two-player board games, not easy to find. You're, you're absolutely right. Yep, no, no. So, Michael, if you guys are thinking that this, this is... 
that they, that they, there will be there will be an end to it because eventually I will run out of stuff from older um, live streams to put out. And when I do, then you'll know because they'll stop popping up. But they have been popping up in people's um, all over the place. I understand, uh, much to my surprise. And um, <clears throat> yeah, and I, I yeah I, I regret. I keep telling people, YouTube's taken a long time to be able to to, to separate edited video from shorts videos from live stream they're finally doing it and uh, i think there is a place for it you've just got to figure out how to make it live together in the same place making separate channels is just it's it's too it's impossible it's just it's too much extra work there's just no point so <clears throat> yeah dan i i will uh, i'll definitely um um and I, look i have been already been up a lot of people have asked me how do you play um, an RPG or Dungeons and Donuts solo. So I'm not necessarily going to go Dungeons and Donuts way, but I'm not necessarily not going to be doing done. I mean, medieval fantasy is always going to be a huge focus for me on this channel. Okay, because I love it. Um, but I also love science fiction, but I probably love fantasy more. And so you, you can be assured that I'll be making stuff that kind of fits into all of that. It's at some point or another. It's all gonna. It's all gonna be there. It just won't be labelled as Dungeons and Donuts. It'll be labelled as something else. Like, and probably since um, I'm clearly losing my mind, I'm probably going to put some very peculiar titles up there. I wouldn't say clickbait, but certainly taking taking a piss. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can expect that. It's going to happen. So going back to, do you remember how the Muppet Show used to have like a, a celebrity guest every week? Mm, yes. And we got we got everybody, like everybody who was anybody, whoever was ever made a movie or was on TV showed up, particularly movies. Yep. Who was the who was the um, guest that you that you saw on the Muppet Show that you liked the most? Um, I think I remember seeing Michelle Pfeiffer go on the Muppet Show actually. I can believe that. Yep. And that was fun. Yeah. Because she, um, she's got on well with Miss Piggy. Oh. <laughs> I, re I remember a lot of the celebrities. They, they, they had celebrities singing and stuff with them, because that was a, quite a sing-along sort of show too, you know? Yeah, there, there was there were musicals. Usually Kermit, much to, much to everybody's surprise, would do a, a song number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then, of course, that led to um, the Muppet movie, the original Muppet movie, and him re um, was singing uh, with a banjo in a, in a swamp. That's right, and uh, you got really drunk. Rainbow Connection. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. He's only kidding. He's only kidding. Only kidding. Um, you really like my old stuff, um, Dan? Well, thank you. Um, it's how I found you in the first place. Instantly liked you more than the uh, the, the the dungeon, the, the other Dungeons and Donuts. <laughs> okay. Christopher Reeves on the Muppets was a good one. Yeah. yeah I bet. Yeah, I, yeah. Bet. I remember when we had... Um, an, Mark Hamill, who had played um, ah, Luke, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Uh, this is, you know, when the, the Star Wars movies came out and they managed to get him on. I think he'd, he'd finished and he'd done um, the second one, Empire Strikes Back. And I think they had him on at that point. And he was, of course, dressed up as Luke Skywalker the entire time mm. with uh, a lightsaber hanging from his belt. And, of course... Um, was it uh, Miss Piggy had the hots for um, you know Mark Hamill, mm -hmm. and there was a bit of bit of competition. Um, I believe that Kermit uh, had had a bit of an issue with that. It was funny to watch that play out. They had Sylvester Stallone because he did all those Rocky movies. Yeah, and, and of course they they set up a, a punch bag in his um, dressing room, and of course you had like every single um, was it, I think it was just about every single um, female and male. Um, Muppet uh, hanging out in his dressing room as he, he talks about uh, you know chats with him about stuff it was it was it was like a it was like they had taken the audience yes, Robin Williams yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they would taken the audience from the um, the ring fights and they they just changed them out with puppets and stuck them in his dressing room it was really really peculiar uh, it was quite funny uh, Robin Williams was um, was a guest yes I remember he was too I liked that one I haven't seen the um, the outtakes for that um, episode. Too funny. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Mark Hamill was actually Mark Hamill's really quite um quite quite a funny person. I, I didn't realise, but it, it kind of makes sense now that, considering that he's played the Joker and various oh, yeah. other, you know, and all the voice act, acting that he's done. Mm. He's done Skeletor. Yeah, he did. He did. That was a recent one. Yeah, he likes doing uh, villains. Yeah, he does. He does like doing villains. And he says he likes doing them over the top. He was even in Smallville. I don't remember that. Was it, was it Smallville or Arrow, maybe? Arrow. It might be Arrow. I yeah, don't he remember. He was a bad guy in Arrow. He's, I can't remember who he was. And he was very similar to the Joker, actually. He was the... Yeah, the Marvel version. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> those ones are the st- ones that stand out for me. Is, it was um, was uh, Sylvester Stallone and and Mark Hamill in the, in the day. And there were a few others. I believe that they used to bring on a lot of the the pop singers as well. Um, I, oh, they might have had Kylie Minogue on there, actually. Did they have Kylie Minogue? I yeah, don't cause, know. Cause, yeah, she did. I remember she doing the, the um, Do the Locomotive song with them. Oh, God, that song was like... Yeah. The loco- yeah. And they did the Muppet version of it. The Muppet version, the locomotion. I, I don't remember that. I remember Elton John being there. Oh, no. I was really surprised when suddenly Elton John shows up on the Muppet show. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was like the thing. Like every celebrity... Who would have guessed, like every celebrity that was ever known, whether they were in the music industry... It's like the Graham Norton show. Yeah. But with Muppets instead Ex- as hosts. Exactly. And all sorts of madness going on in the background. Exactly. Yeah. And, and like everybody wanted to be on that show. Or... They Maybe they're just... Because I just love getting in, these, in with the antics of these, mu- these, these puppets, I guess. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I always liked the fact that they, they, they seem to be able to showcase um, a lot of these celebrities outside of their... The normal, you know, you see them in the movie or mm. on the on the stage. Um, it was always fun mm. because I mean, back then and that, you know, many years ago, you didn't really have interviews with the celebrities. I mean, it did happen, but it wasn't that common. Mm. Um, and I suppose people are going to say, see, in North America, it might be easy for you to get access to that sort of thing. But something like the Late Show or the Late Late Show, where they would do that sort of thing, um, well, was it, is it Jimmy Carson? We didn't. Yeah, we, let him and it's like that's all late. Uh, that's all um, YouTube stuff. How we watched it. Y- yeah. Well, we. You Which, did, but, but that's before YouTube, so we didn't have it. No, we didn't have it. We didn't. We never saw any never of that sort of stuff. stuff. We had no idea that it even existed. Yeah. Um, so a lot of that stuff was would never came our way. So any kind of shows that where they did appear. So the only way we would actually see them in my country is through the Muppet Show. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was a. It's a. It's an odd one, I know, but <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, it was a cool show. I also want to mention too um, there are a couple of people who are in the process of building new RPGs or role playing the tabletop role playing games mm-hmm. uh, who are part of the Game Master Round Table which was formerly called the Dungeon Master Round Table yeah. and uh, that is Chris Deus and that is on which channel is it um, uh, DS X Machina mm. uh, and also on the OKest DM that is, um, Dennis is doing one as well. So if you were worried that like um, Dungeons and Donuts was going to vanish, I can assure you there's going to be so many retro clones out there. And a lot of a lot of the creators um, within and out, I mean outside of that, I mean third party publishers, but also within the YouTube community, are doing this um, on their own volition. But there's also a couple of people who are um, in, encouraging them to do that sort of thing. I'm certainly one. I, <laughs> since since I've got uh, enough contacts nowadays, I've been I've been throwing it out there like everybody go make yourself a retro clone. <laughs> let's let's see what happens if the market just gets just absolutely um, pounded with retro clones. Pick whatever you like, and a lot of these, of course, will probably wind up being free. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, just just <laughs> AJ Pickett is in the process of doing one. There's an old game um, that I think I talked about yesterday called uh, Tunnels and Trolls, and uh, Monster Monster is an, sort of an expansion of that, and AJ Pickett is um, creating a open source um, D10 system for that, um, but it's more narrative because he's narrative rather than crunchy mechanics. Uh, that's that's how AJ works. So whatever you see from him, it'll be like that. And then um, what was the other thing? Uh, there is Taron, Indestructible Boy. Is he's a crunchy person, so he likes um, lots of co- complex mechanics. So he's he's building something based off Morkborg, 
and like, like the, you can see it's it's all going to be there um what's morkborg morkborg is I th is, is it a german game morkborg or a norwegian or um, um swedish game i can't remember i has it got orcs in it? Uh, it's it's just really deadly. It's it's like the heavy metal RPG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's like death. Death is uh, expected. Uh, they were a lot of uh, good. Uh, gu yeah, there were lots of different uh, really cool gu um, guests on the Muppet Show. Always always like that fact. So yeah, when this live stream finishes, if those guys are still going, I'll throw the links into there so you can go and um, check out what they're doing if you're interested. Um, because <clears throat> I know I um, I kind of spurned and encouraged Chris Deus to to do this um, after I had a discussion with him, and I, I and I told him I was going to do I was going to do it myself. He he already knew I was going to do one myself at some point, and he's like, "Well, I am a game designer. That's what I do as a job, like full time." Um, seems like an interesting thing. Let's take uh, um, Dungeons and Donuts and just backward, um, backward um, reverse engineer it. And I was like, sounds good to me. Oh, I guess I can do that as a live stream. And I said, sounds good to me. So that's why he's been doing it. He's, done, he's on his second live stream now. So um, uh, when you guys are asking questions about my basing and when I do my own basing and that sort of stuff, um, I thought I'd bring a couple, I brought a miniature over that I've done. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Bring I've got it out. A, bit of a miniature over that I've done, so I'll show you. Um, this is for it's. It's not actually to be usable in a game because it's seventy five millimeter, and I got it for painting purposes. Um, and it's also a third party, so three D art guy designed this. But it's of a um, of a Primark from from uh, the Horus Heresy, for the Warhammer universe. I'll show that to the man. So this is Angron. And I'll, but I've done the base is custom, so I've done that with corkboard. Um, and this is sort of um, showcases some of what um, other stuff I paint. This is sci-fi though. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, um, so what did what did you? <clears throat> so that's coated with that uh, that so that matte. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, put a, I put a matte, uh, matte varnish on it. Yeah. Um, because yeah, I just like the look of the matte. Um, and it's a non-metallic gold. Um, it's a little bit more yellowy than I was hoping it would actually be, but. Um, so, that sort of well you can't really tell on that screen actually can you um hopefully that's clear um but yeah it's, it's, it's a non-metallic gold um i used a lot of different colored underpainting over it but unfortunately i sprayed a yellow um ink over it and it got it destroyed all the color unfortunately there was heaps more color in it um it's still it's all, it still looks cool but um yeah yeah you can see that's if you're watching in real time, that's what it looks like. Don't go too close, dude. Remember, if you, it's going to pull out of... Um, you're going to go probably further back. You're too close. Further back you go, you're probably going to want a bit, bit, bit more... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to look a lot a bit crisper. So remember, we set it so it wouldn't be automatically um, jumping back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, that's just a giant pain in the butt. So So anyway, yeah, this is this is some of the this, um, 3D printed stuff that I do. Um, and this is one I purchased recently for like fifteen dollars, I think. Uh, add that to the base. So it's just an Elf Archer. But again, just the quality of these of these um, resin prints is, is phenomenal. Um, uh, I love it. Although this particular one actually uh, it was a bit brittle and it um, broke in a couple of places while I was assembling it, so I had to use a lot of super glue on the bow. Um, but yeah, just the quality is amazing. The armor, the detail, it's, uh, it's very similar to um, to the Warhammer fine cast resin, um, which can be problematic. But um, but yeah, but it's still good quality. Um, so that's a fantasy, fantasy um, elf archer uh, shooting a magic arrow. Um, I'm not sure how I paint it yet, but probably forest colors, I think, mm -hmm. um, sort of greens and stuff. But yeah, that gives you an idea anyway of the other side of stuff that I do in my own time, which I will be putting on my channel. Um, Angron, I think, is actually on my channel. Um, but, yeah, I need to do some... Um, I had live stream painting of this sort of stuff, but um, I have to redo it once I can get back to live streaming. Yeah. All right, so what's the plan with the uh, Manticore now? Uh, I think he's done. He's done? Yeah, he's done. You reckon he's done? Yeah, I reckon he's done. All right, well, that's good. Is, there, is there anything need to be done for the base? The base all good? No, I love the colour. You love the colour? Oh, what do you guys think? Do you yeah. guys like the colour of the base, or do you want me to make it like a... Um, 
do you guys want me to make it like a, a, um, a bit more like a rock or something like a rock <laughs> How do you hear that? <laughs> rather than a colorful rock like not a purple Purple, purple. Oh, I don't purple. think it does. It really matter. Can have a purple base. No, no. I just um, the thing about fantasy, especially the, um, the the more I paint fantasy, I think more color now because um, it just color and fantasy seem to mix for me. Yeah. No, I, I, I just I, I, I just want to just interrupt you, dude. Okay, SDM. That's Dennis. Yeah. The, this is one of the members of the Game Master Roundtable. He's just popped in with his viewers, um, people. Um, so if you if you spot him. <laughs> <laughs> we we're we're hanging out. So I, I think what we'll do is um, probably a good idea is we we end here, don't you think, Dave? I mean, we could we could keep talking about the Muppet Show and so forth and other th other things, but I don't think that's necessary. Okay. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I'm going to put something into the chat. Mm. We'll just just type in there. Um, let's say type in something like um, at. Uh, yeah. How's it going, Dennis? Just go, just type in, hi, Dennis, thanks for coming. And you can, I mean, I'm talking it out, but we'll get you to, I'll, we'll type it in, okay? <clears throat> so I'm hoping that Dennis will come back and continue making his RPG. His, he's building one that's more narrative. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, I think what we will do is we will transition you over. I'm going to give you the link to David's YouTube channel, and then I'm going to give you the link to Chris Deus, who's also in the process of building an, a role-play game. And then we'll finish for today. I will go and paint my, my roof, and that will probably kill me. And then <laughs> and then we'll be back tomorrow. What do you want to do tomorrow, dude? I can't remember the name of it, but I sent it to you. You did? It's like a rat with hooves. A rat with hooves. You think you can get it done in one one hour or not? Yeah, real? yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slap chop it. You can slap chop it. So we'll be true slap chopping tomorrow. How's it going, Oliver? How are you doing? All right, so just give me a second while I put in uh, various things that I need to. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how you managed to redirect, redirect us, uh, but uh, well done. I have struggled to make that work. <laughs> In fact, I have had very little success. Um, so let's, so this is David's channel, and if you are still wanting to check out somebody who's in the process of uh, building an RPG, um, I want to send you to Chris, because I think Chris is still going. I know he's, I know he's finished early. He's finished early. I wonder if Taryn is on. Let's have a look and see if Taryn's on. If Taryn's on, that would be good too. Because then you can go and hang out. Yes, he is. So Taron Indostructo Boy is currently... Live. Uh, he's, he's reading Wizards of the Coast Apology and hanging out for a bit. So he's not doing any... I'm not going to send you there for that. Nah, we won't worry about that. Okay, so instead uh, we will we will sign ourselves out. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow to... I don't know what the heck we're doing, but we're doing something. The hoofy Rat. Hoofy Rat. Yeah. Yeah, so let's, let's do this instead. And I'll get you to uh, type your usual thing in there. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, let's... Uh, sl <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave. I'll, You're welcome. I'll try not to fall off the roof. And, and wear oh. sunscreen and a hat. Well, I'm going to wear a hat. I'm going to wear sunscreen. Yep. My biggest problem is going to be wasps. Uh, I don't know how to deal with that in the middle of the day. No, it's, you it's, can't. It's, you, you have to wait until it's it's the sun goes down. That's the that's the problem. Avoid them. Uh, well, avoid them, yes. But yeah, you got to go wait until don't the sun goes down. Don't make them angry. Down. Well, I'm not going to. If they're there, I'm just going to have to walk away and I have to wait until it gets dark and darkish and spray yeah, them. Spray them. And then you know uh, get rid of it the next, next year, day, yeah. um, which will be a pain. But you know, if it has to be done that way, it has to be done. Anyway. So I just want to say thank you to my patrons um, who have supported me on Patreon. It's more important than it's ever been before. And uh, uh, <laughs> the original Dark Crystal movie is awesome. I agree. Uh, you don't care for the series. Oh, I, I love uh, the series. Oh, it's a, okay. Yeah, everybody to their own. Everybody to their own. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I totally get it. Uh, so anyway, any, thank you for showing up for the live stream, being part of this. Um, thank you for everybody who took part in the poll. I am, of course, uh, trying to uh, come up with things to talk about. We are going to be moving back to my normal programming 
not really when I go off holiday, but we'll be going back to some sort of programming. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. modified. Modified. Significantly modified. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching my uh, the replays of my live streams, the edited videos, and putting up with those shorts videos. I know. I know they're a pain, but YouTube sort of, you know, doesn't like you if you don't do them, those mm -hmm. things. So I kind of have to do them. And uh, thank you for Dennis, uh, the OKSDM, and his audience showing up for the, just the end of our live stream. We wind up finding, usually we go for an hour, but we wind up finishing early because the miniature's done. It's, it's, it's finished. My bad. We painted it. Yeah. We painted it. It's, um, I think it looks all right. Yeah, yeah. I think, it looks right. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be a nice addition to Fred's collection of, um, well, it's not shame. Because it's painted. <laughs> well, the, the good thing too is you'll, you'll coat it right and then you'll do a little video on your channel of it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've still, and I still have a couple other ones there to do as well. I've coated them. I just need to um, video them. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll do some shorts of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah ex I could do that today probably, actually. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever works for you. Whatever. Because you've got a headache. you got to go and sort, it, sort that I've out. I've got a headache. I'm going to sort that out. Yeah. Um, 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 and Fred's going to paint um, wasps. Okay. No, I'm not going to I do mean, that. Um, he's going to avoid wasps and paint roofs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. not fall off the roof. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so so wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. I'm not going to say what you should be doing with uh, Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast. That's up to you. And, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.